you've got that in your hair. Have you been washing your hair, Mummy? With the cloth. More soap. Hang on there. More soap. Where's your cloth? More soap. More soap. Okay, we'll do more soap. Yes, I know you're wet. You want to try? Hang on, don't drop it. Careful, wipe it. Good girl. Is there anything else in there? Should we see what's in here? We've got a spoon. Do you want to do the spoon? Oh, okay. And a big spoon. Wash your feet. Wash your feet. Ooh, wash your feet. Okay, I think we need to stop. Oh, you're exfoliating your feet with a scourer. Ooh, That's nice. That <gasps> okay, wow, let's stop. discovered this jumper this morning and I completely forgot I'd bought it I got it last probably this time last year for some Christmas it can't have been a party because it's a big old jumper but anyway I bought it from Zara and it wasn't cheap and when it arrived I I don't know I wasn't sure about it so I decided I was going to return it but I completely forgot and ended up hanging on to it by mistake and then I tried to return it and it was too late and they wouldn't take it back because it was over my window of opportunity to return it, which at the time I was really annoyed about because I tried to take it back after Christmas, having not worn it. And um, yeah, it's the kind of jumper that it's got sparkles on it and beads and sequins. So it's not an evening thing because it's quite big and chunky and warm, but it's definitely, you don't really feel like you can get away with it post Christmas because it's quite festive looking. So anyway, I rediscovered it this morning in with all my winter stuff that I packed away completely forgot I had it and I'm absolutely I feel like I've got a new jumper and I love it I loved it last year but I just didn't feel like I was going to get the wear out of it because it was quite pricey so that's why I tried to return it in the end but yeah I'm really pleased that I've still got it now because I'm going to get loads of wear out of it this month in the run-up to Christmas I'm going to wear it at least twice a week in every video that you watch so be prepared to see a lot of this jumper I guess is the moral of this story. I'm already quite warm in it actually. It's definitely not one for mopping the kitchen in because it's quite, it's quite chunky. So today, Marnie and I are gonna head out in a minute. I wanted to do something festive-ish. I saw something on Instagram. Someone was making DIY snow and I've done it before with Aiden and Merrin. I don't think, no, I don't even think Marnie was born then. Um, but it's basically mixing we used at the time baking soda and hair conditioner, I think, but the recipe that I've just seen on Instagram uses baking soda and shaving cream, and that makes it really fluffy and cold to the touch, apparently, like real snow. So I'm gonna give it a go with Marnie today. We're gonna pop into town and get what we need for it. I think she'll really enjoy playing with it. We can put all of her figures in it and things, and it sounds right up Marnie's street. She loves nothing more than getting messy, so that's what we're going to do. better I need to comb it out a bit but I just wanted to put some waves into my hair because lately I've been just leaving it dry and then doing nothing to it not even straightening it and it just 
I don't know, I'm really fed up with my hair at the moment. I had it cut a good six inches probably off it. It was all the way down to about here. So I've had it cut quite a lot, but I'm thinking I might go even shorter because it's just, hello. It's just, um, yeah, it's not got a lot of oomph to it. And if I leave it dry naturally and just leave it do its own thing, it's just got no movement to it at all. So hmm, I'm not sure, I'm tempted shorter at least then it'll kind of swing around a bit what do you think shorter or keep it like this let me know i need your help right marnie let's go we're gonna go and walk into town let me unplug my straighteners and put them somewhere you can't get them and we shall go you ready where's your shoes let's get your shoes on so i'm just filling booze kong with pea mutt butter Sorry, you can't even see me. With peanut butter, which is a dog peanut butter and treats to keep her happy while we're out because otherwise she gets her knickers in a twist. So, need to do that. I'm terrified that someone's gonna pick that up one day thinking it's actual human peanut butter. a bit of a disaster. I came out looking for baking soda or bicarb of soda um, for the snow that we're going to make but I couldn't find any anywhere. I do have half a box full at home so I did pick up some shaving foam so I'm hoping that the half a box I've got will be enough to make enough to play with so I did manage to get a coffee from Costa though so it's not all bad. Just delivering a festive bake to the husband because I'm a great wife. Sandwich. Oh, because do you want an apple? 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 Stop trying to pull my lens off my camera. It doesn't come off. It's stuck. Let's get you some cheese. Mm. Big kiss, please. Hello, doggy. Hello, boo. Hello, boo. Big kiss, please. Big kiss, please. Mwah. Love you. Okay, let's do lunch. You must be hungry. Lunch. Lunch. Good Lunch. girl. Then I thought we might make some snow. Should we make a snowman? Should we try? Ow. Snowman? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Say hello. Hello, friends. Oh, pat pat. press the button so i just had a look in my cupboard and i think this is what we need baking soda in america is the same as bicarb of soda over here isn't it and i've got at least two thirds of the box in there so that should make plenty hopefully so yay we can make snow marnie should we make snow uh... <laughs> is that a no or a yes oh do you want to take your coat off okay coat off then snow So I have just under an hour, I'm just gonna pop you in there, until I need to go and get Aiden from, well actually all of them from school. Aiden's finishing a bit earlier today because he's been doing his dress rehearsal for his Christmas concert, which is tomorrow. So he needs picking up half an hour earlier than normal. That's Boo. I popped her outside because she's got muddy paws and I've just mopped the kitchen floor this morning. So I want them to dry a little bit before she comes in and she's really cross about it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I've got just under an hour, so I think I'm just going to make a head start on the dinner because this evening's quite busy. Merrin has a carol performance or school choir carol thing at a local retirement home, so she's got to go off to that. So I'm going to make a start on dinner. I'm making lasagna tonight. I'm so 
out of sorts with my cooking and my inspiration for meals i'm just really struggling at the moment to want anything i don't know what it is i just don't fancy anything so i find myself making things that everyone else will like and i just eat it because i just need to eat um yeah i'm just i don't know why i don't know what's up with me ever since we got back from holiday i'm just not feeling it perhaps it's because i'm just miffed that i have to cook i'm gonna have to go and let boo in aren't i um yeah, so I'm just going to make a lasagna. I'm going to do the meat sauce bit now so that when I get back from the school run, I can just do the cheese sauce and put it all together and pop it in the oven. So that's what I'm going to do. So I still haven't got around to making the snow. You know, when you think something's a good idea and, um, yeah, you hadn't accounted for actually doing it. So we will do it. But I think I'll probably go and get the guys from school and then Merrin and Aiden can do it with Marnie, which I'm sure they will enjoy. Um, I've got about 20 minutes till I need to get Aiden, but it's one of those situations where there's going to be nowhere to park. So I'm going to go early, make sure I can park, and then Marnie and I will just walk to go and get him. And then we'll come home and do the snow while I finish off the lasagna and I can do it with them as well while it's in the oven. So new plan, but I think that's the only way we're going to we're gonna get everyone on time, isn't it, Marnie? And I've just gotta show you what Marnie's doing because she's been trying to do this all day and I've been taking it off her and then I finally thought, why am I taking it off her? Because it's just gonna make her happy. So this is what she's doing. She's mopping. And she's been mopping for about 10 minutes. Good girl, don't touch the actual mop bit though, even though it's been in Zaflora, I still don't really want you to touch it. It's a mop. Now you, Boo, are not allowed to mop. No, because you just chew it. Oh, watch your face. Boo, you're gonna end up without an eye in a minute. Hours of fun, who needs to make snow anyway when you can mop? It's a mop. Boo, seriously, it's not gonna end well for you. Ah, that's my camera. No, no, no. I've got Aiden. He's just done a full day's rehearsal in the theatre for his Christmas concert. Yes. How'd it go? Are you tired? No. Your teacher said you need to go to bed by six. I don't. I, I think don't. it sounds like a good idea. I cannot wait to watch the show. Aiden has just been singing one of the songs that they're doing, haven't you? Yeah. How's it go? Not to be boy today, pushing, shoving in my way. What a commotion, what a to do. Now I've thought this through. Order, order, wait your turn. That's so good. I can't wait to watch it. Well done, mister. Marnie's in the <laughs> corner eating a brioche. Can I have some? I don't think she'll share. Good luck trying, good luck trying to get her to share. Thank you. <gasps> Did she give you some? No way. No. Good girl, Marnie. Well, I would never have thought you would share that in a million years. Good girl, sharing. Nom 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 nom. Right, should we make some snow? Mm -hmm. So we yeah. need this. So put half of that in your bowl, and then half of this shaving foam. So half of the pack. Yeah, half is already open. So be careful. Oh, sorry. So tip half, half in. That's it, and half into Aiden's bowl. Like there. there you go, keep going. Can I touch it? A bit more. Yeah, in front, it's just powder. And a bit more. That's it. And then we're just going to put some shaving foam in, see what happens. So mix it. Can I mix? Mix it all together with your hands. Can I put mine in? Yeah, you put yours in. Oh my god. That's it, now mix. And then you add some more shaving foam if you need it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to mix them together? Don't. Yeah. Let's go. Let's make a snowman. 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 Wow. <laughs> Isn't it funny how motherhood equips you with rose-tinted glasses in so many ways and you forget things like how painful childbirth is and how difficult two-year-olds can be and how messy making fake snow is and how it's actually not worth 
how long it takes to clean it up afterwards in terms of how long they will actually play with it for. And I hadn't even factored into the equation the fact that Marnie would not like the sensation of mixing it with her hands. She hated that bit um, and just wanted to play with it afterwards. And what she also wanted was to have everybody else's quantity of snow as well so that it was all hers. They had to do all the mixing and she got to play with it all um, and screamed until she got her way. So that was fun. Um, well, I exaggerate, Aiden did play with it for a while once Marnie got fed up. She, she um, oh God, I'm so shiny today. She um, played with it for about 10 minutes, stood her little figures from Hey Dougie in it, and then she was over it, so Aiden just spent the last half an hour playing with it, which is nice. And um, I've just spent the last half an hour cleaning it all up. And also what I hadn't realized, of course it's shaving foam, is that obviously they've got it all over the floor, and all over their clothes and the table and it's quite slippery underfoot so Aiden just ran across the kitchen and did like a banana skin slip he's fine he didn't hurt himself he thought it was quite funny but yeah so now I have to mop the floor again for the second time today I had good intentions anyway that's the main thing I've just realized that this jumper is giving me my own DIY disco ball effect around the kitchen so now that I've tidied up all the snow I've put the lasagnas in the oven well I've made two so I've put the kids one in the oven and mine and Dan's is just to one side ready for later we've got about an hour and a half until Marion has to go to her choir performance so so that gives me enough time to give the kids their tea tidy up afterwards and then take Marion to her concert and hopefully Boo is sniffing at Boo no, she's sniffing the table. Hopefully Dan will be back shortly to take her for a walk because I think she's getting fed up. She needs some fresh air and exercise. Do you need a walk? Are you being a menace? Are you being a menace? You're a cute menace, but you are definitely, whoops, there's my strap. Don't eat it. You are definitely a menace. Yes, you are. Somebody went out in the back garden today to play and came back with very, very muddy paws. So I'm just wondering, because it hasn't rained today, what you got up to in the garden when I wasn't watching? What did you do? Uh, excuse me, I didn't ask for your paw. It's actually not looking too muddy now. It's probably because you've trodden it all over the floor and the rug. Naughty panda. Naughty panda. So that's Marion dropped off at her carol performance. We couldn't find the place, which was fun, but we got there eventually. Um, and now, me and you, Marnie. Where's Marnie? Where's she gone? Can't see you, too short. We're going to go upstairs and run the bath for you, because even though it's a little bit early for a bath, you are covered in fake snow. Okay. She's also eating a Barney bear. Oh, there's a Grinch. <laughs> Baby shark, are we? Oh, you want to watch Baby Shark, do you? Okay, well, if maybe we'll watch Baby Shark while the bath is running, and then you can have a bath, okay? And Aiden needs to have an early night because. Are you guys? Baby Don't shark, get are we? Well, because you're the Grinch. You're gonna pinch everyone's presents. Yeah. You need an early night because you've got a busy day tomorrow with your school concert. Lots and lots going on tomorrow. Excited, Right, let's go run the bath.